So first, I'd like to introduce to you a man who uh, made a big, big hit at the Olympics in Rio. He represented the United States and won a silver medal at the age of only 19 years. A lot of people call him, including ourselves, the future of boxing. A young man who will be, uh, I believe, a superstar in the way that uh, uh, Ray Leonard uh, and Oscar De La Hoya uh, became superstars. Uh, Top Rank is honored to be promoting <coughs> this young man in association with our co-promoter who's here someplace, Antonio Lennon. So before I bring Shakur up, I'd like to have uh, Antonio, who's always very engaging, uh, say a few words about Shakur. Antonio? Eastern kid 
like Shakur uh, to California. I think it's the first time visiting the state of California. So please welcome uh, a terrific young man who you're going to really love uh, as you see him develop as a professional over the years. Please welcome Shakur Stevenson. <clears throat> Uh, 
uh, give boxing the time and effort that was needed. Uh, but since he's been with Frank Espinosa, uh, his manager, uh, he's uh, turned it around. His record is outstanding, 24 wins, no defeats, 17 knockouts, uh, real, uh, terrific talent, who again, will be one of the superstars uh, in boxing. Uh, please welcome uh, from Las Vegas, Nevada, the champion, Jesse Magdalena, uh, and his manager, uh, Frank Espinosa. <laughs> Once you get it, you'll defend it with everything that you have. I've been fortunate enough to see one of my boxers continually fight to defend what is his. Jesse Magdaleno will be defending his junior featherweight title for the first time Saturday, April 22nd in a matchup that you do not want to miss. Magdaleno took the WBO junior featherweight title last year and a power, powerhouse fight against Melito Donaire. With a 24 0 record, Jesse knows the taste of victory well. He will be stepping in the ring against a respected fighter, Adilson Dos Santos of Brazil. Jesse is eager for the fight and up for the challenge. We want to thank Bob Vera, the reason why we are here, and Top Rank for showcasing our talent. You will not want to miss this big ticket fight and the chance to witness Magdalena defend his title for the very first time. Thank you. Now it's a pleasure to bring to the microphone the champion uh, from Las Vegas, Nevada, Jesse Magdalena. Like I said last time, you know, uh, it's, it feels great to be back. Um, I'm ready to uh, put on a, a great show for the 2017. Um, there's no easy fight in this sport. Everybody that steps into that into that square circle is a champion, you know, win or lose. But um, you know, I, I, I like to thank um, Top Rank and uh, Pay Per View and uh, my manager uh, Frank Espinoza, uh, my coach Manny Robles for um, you know putting the time and the effort and. And uh, being there for me to showcase everything that I have, and that's uh, being a great fighter that I am. Um, like Bob said, I had a few ups and downs uh, as my career, but uh, I'm on the right track. And uh, we showcased it in my last uh, fight, November 5th, against Donaire, which was a, a great, uh, respectable, and uh, amazing fight. And um, April 22nd, you guys are going to uh, showcase and see another great Jesse Magdaleno, who's ready to put on a great show for everybody. And um, alongside with uh, my teammate Oscar Valdez, a great friend, uh, Sergio Ramirez, and um, even uh, the new face of boxing, um, Shakur Stevenson. And um, we're here to give everybody what, what they want to see, and that's uh, a great night of boxing. Thank you. Uh, probably one of the top lightweights in the world, 
and the fabulous Vasil Lomachenko defending his title against Sosa, all Ukrainians. Bursak, as one of the Ukrainian stars, uh, is a very accomplished fighter. He poses a tremendous danger for Roberto Ramirez. For those of us who understand the situation, know that Gilberto is ready to rise to any kind of challenge uh, and he wants tough fights. Uh, I mean, look when he won the title. He fought Arthur Abraham, one of the best super middleweights in the world. Not only did he beat Abraham, he won every round. And everybody then said, well, Abraham was washed up. But that was baloney. Because Abraham has gone on and fought two more fights and has the same skills that he always had. Zerno Ramirez made Abraham look like he was washed up, but he wasn't. Uh, Zerno Ramirez was inactive after the Abraham fight with a bum hand, which is now completely uh, healed. Uh, he's here today. Uh, with his trainer, uh, Hector Zabari, and uh, uh, our co-promoter uh, for Zerto Ramira, Jesus Zabari. And uh, I talked with Jesus uh, outside uh, this morning, and we made arrangements. Jesus uh, is scouring all over Mexico. Uh, he has some great Mexican fighters, and he's going to sign more and ship them into the pipeline uh, for top rank in, a, in association with his company uh, to showcase uh, in the United States. So first, I'd like to call to the microphone, great guy, big boxing guy, uh, who's done such a great job uh, promoting Azurda Ramirez, please will welcome Jesus Sabak. Jesus Sabak. Hi. Uh, first of all, I want to thank Bob Arnold and Todd Brown for the opportunity to give us to, to uh, work with them and uh, develop uh, Gilberto's career. I want to thank the media, I want to thank the Stock Act Center for uh, this opportunity for uh, next April the 22nd. Uh, uh, we have uh, a lot of confidence on Gilberto. This is going to be his big year. He's been working really hard. He's a hardworking kid. He's, he's been always uh, uh, waiting for this moment to come back to the ring. And I think uh, 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 the next April the 22nd, uh, uh, he's going to come back uh, to please the fans. And, uh, and uh, he's going to uh, be ready for the big fight this year. Muchas gracias a Bob Paro, a Bram, por la oportunidad que nos están dando de trabajar con ellos y desarrollar la carrera de Gilberto. Quiero agradecer a la media por estar presente aquí. Accente por la oportunidad que nos están dando de pelear ahí en su lugar. Eh, les quiero decir que Gilberto ha estado esperando este momento por mucho tiempo. Eh, nunca se ha alejado del ring, siempre ha estado eh, en, el ring, en el gimnasio entrenando duro. Y este próximo 22 de abril, él estará listo para regresar con una gran pelea para los aficionados. Y este año va a ser el año grande de Sulto Ramírez con el apoyo de Tad Brand que siempre nos han dado y de Bob Parham. Este año vamos a hacer grandes cosas. Muchas gracias. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to bring to the microphone the world champion. Uh, I told him after the year, last year when he was sidelined for a big part of the year with uh, a bad hand that we're going to work him really hard this year, three or four times a year. Uh, a lot of people uh, are looking uh, to fight him. There's some great fights out there, but we know he's going to rise to the occasion. 
do yourself a favor. He trains uh, in uh, California, uh, where all of these champions, Southern California, where all of these champions are training. Uh, watch him train and see his great skills. Please welcome the super middleweight champion of the world, Gilberto Zorro Ramirez. Good morning. Uh, first of all, I want to say thank God for the opportunity to battle uh, my team. Uh, everyone everyone uh, to, to make things uh, make it happen. And I'm really happy to be here once again because uh, I'm really excited back in track, back in the ring. Um, I want to be a, a, a really excited fight for all the people, all the fans. I've been training really, really hard in Mazatlan here. I've been training for a long time ago to wait for this moment. And I, I'm happy. Is because it's the right time. Because when I hold my hand, I feel a little bit sad because I can I can fly. I, I I don't do nothing like uh, three four months. And before and after that, I back on track. And thank thank God, thank everybody. Uh, this big cartel gonna be a, a really a exciting for all the people because. My friend and me, we are, we are doing everything in, in my hand to is, is stay really positive, to, to win and to keep the belt. And Max Bursak is a good, fight, good fighter. Every, everybody don't, don't know him about, about too much. Everybody don't know too much about him, but I know that he's going to be a very good fight, very completely fight. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. 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 Thank you.